guys, it's Sarah from Ninja Biz, and welcome to our first video on our YouTube channel. Since we can't see you guys for classes face to face, we thought we'd do an online class for you guys to follow along at home. So get your brothers and sisters involved, your parents, whoever's in the house, and just make sure you've got loads of room wherever you are, if you're inside or out in the garden, nothing around. And if you have a yoga mat like this one, or any kind of mat, it'd be handy, but you don't need it, okay? So to start off, we're going to do a quick warm up and you can just follow along with me. Alright? Driving on the spot. Great job. Faster. Brilliant. High knees. Come on, get them up really high. Great job. Butt kicks. Great job. And to finish, we're going to do 10 jumping jacks, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brilliant! Are we all warm? Alright guys, now that we're warm, we're going to warm up all our joints in our body and we're going to start from our head and work our way down to our toes. This is just to make sure that everything's nice and warm and moving before we get going and uh, doing our exercises later in the class, okay? So roll the head in a circle, the rest of your body should be really nice and still. And the other way, perfect, put your head on one shoulder, and on the other side, and back again, last one, brilliant, okay, we're going to take one arm, swing forwards, try and keep your body really straight again, I like to put my hand on my belly, just stop it moving, and backwards, perfect, and switch sides, and back again. Brilliant. Hands together, interlocking like that. Or one of your really quick waves with our wrists. And nice big ones. And again, quick ones. And big ones. Perfect. Shake out the arms. Okay. Spread the legs a little bit further apart and keep our legs really straight. Put your hands on your lower back and we're going to push our hips out. Make nice wide circles. And the other way. Lovely. Stretch up as high as you can. Squeeze up. I'm going to go down and touch the floor. Straight back up again. I'm going to do this three times. One. Two. Three. Perfect. Shake the legs. Last up is our ankles. So we're going to pick up one foot off the floor. Really nice and balanced. It helps if you put your hands on your hips or maybe out to the side. And we're going to point our toes down towards the floor. And then we're going to flex our toes so they point up to the roof. Point, flex, point, flex. And then make a little circle with your ankle. Really good. No wobbles. Well done. And then switch your feet again. Take a second and get balanced again. Pick it up. Point your toes to the floor. Flex them up to the ceiling, point, flex, point, flex, and make a circle. Great! We're all warmed up. As part of our warm up in the ninja class, we do some ninja poses, okay? And they all have different names and um, explaining a bit about what the pose means. So the first one we have is respect, it's very simple. You stand tall and strong with your feet spread apart. And then you're going to bring your two fists together like this. And it shows that you're listening, paying attention and showing respect. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to jump three times and then we're going to land in our respect pose. Just like this. Okay? One, two, three. And land in respect. Okay? Are we ready? One, two, three. Respect. Perfect. The second one we have is called calm. Okay, so like the name suggests, you've got to be really calm and balanced and strong to do this one. So you're going to get balanced on one of your legs and slowly you're going to pick the other one up and you're going to try and get this foot as high up as you can and we're going to finish like this. One, two, three and down. Okay, do you want to try it with me? I'm going to swap to the other leg and then we'll do your other one again. Okay, so pick up your foot. Hold it there. One, two, three. Brilliant, guys. Really good. And last one for calm, guys. Pick it up. Well done. So, so far we have respect. One, two, three. 
two, three, and we have can. Great. Great job. Okay, our third pose is called stealth because when ninjas are being really sneaky and creeping around the place, they need to be very stealthy and agile, okay? So to do this one, we go down onto the mat, you're sitting on top of um, one of your feet, and you're going to put the other leg out straight, point your toes as far as you can. Now, you can use your hands on either side to help you balance if you want to, or if that's too easy, a more advanced mode is trying to put our hands up here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to swap from being on this side over onto the other side without getting up. Okay, so to do this, we're slowly going to move across, bend our other knee, straighten this one, and now we're in stealth on the other side. Okay, so we're going to go over and back four times together. So everybody in stealth. Good job. And one, two, three, four. And will we try it with no hands as well? Okay, we'll do two of these. So hands up, fists together, one, well done, two. Brilliant. Okay, so that one's called stealth. Our fourth pose and our last one for today is called power. Now, everybody really likes this one because like ninjas, we like to, you know, sometimes kick a bit sometimes, okay? So make sure you load the room all around you. And we're gonna start off like calm, we pick one leg up, really balanced, and when we have it balanced and nice and high off the ground, we're going to count to three, and we're going to kick out to the side, okay? One, two, three. Brilliant. And if you guys want to add in sound effects, even better. So we'll try it on the other leg. Pick it up. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job. This one again, pick it up. One, two, three. Whoa! And last one, pick it up. One, two, three. Whoa! So that's power. That's our fourth pose. So today we've had respect. One, two, three. We've had calm. Our third one was stealth. Can you guys remember what that one was? Yeah, well done, stealth. So we're down like this. And our last one for today, power. So pick up the leg. One, two, three. Whoa! Well done, guys. Really looking like ninjas now. Now, guys, at ninja class, once we've done all our poses, we do some drills. And they're the part of the class that builds up our muscles, makes them stronger. And if you practice them every day, or maybe even a few times during the week, you'll get stronger and stronger, and you'll be able to do way more cool things like handstands and cartwheels and all those kind of things, okay? And um, so the first one we're going to learn is called an inchworm. I'm going to show you this one sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Um, some of you guys might be really flexible, and if you are, make sure that you're feeling a stretch when you're doing this one. I'm not so bendy, so it might look very stretchy when I do it, okay? So we turn onto the side, and what you're going to do is you stand up nice and tall with our legs really straight. We reach down to the floor, and we're going to walk our hands out until we make a plank. So a plank is when we've got a straight line with our body, and you'll see that when I go out into my plank. Okay? So we walk out our hands until we have a plank like this, really strong. You don't want to be dipped down like this, and you don't want your bum to be up in the air. So I'm in my plank, and when I'm here, I'm going to leave my hands exactly where they are, and I'm going to walk in my toes with little steps, but I have to keep my legs straight. So watch, I'm walking in my toes, all the way in, keeping them straight, like that. Okay, we try it again together. So stand at the end of your mat, nice and tall, straight legs. Down, touch the floor and walk out your hands. Are we in a plank? Great, okay, now we're gonna walk in our feet. So remember your hands don't move. All the way in, as far as we can go. And stand. Perfect, one more time. A little bit faster this time maybe. So standing up nice and tall. Walk in the hands, walk in the feet. Great job! So that's our inchworm. Well done, guys! Alright, the next drill we have is called a plank flip. So it's exactly like what it sounds. We're going to make a plank shape just like we did before, really straight, really strong. 
It's important that you squeeze all of your muscles when you're doing a plank to keep your body in a straight shape. When we're in our plank, we're going to twist around by putting one arm up into the sky. We're going to end up doing a backwards plank. I know, it's not that hard, don't worry. And then we're going to spin back up onto our hands again. It's all really slow and controlled. So this is one of those exercises where it's actually better the slower you do it. Okay? So I'm going to make my plank just like before, really straight and strong. I'm going to turn to the side and lift one hand up into the air. Then I'm going to turn onto my back nice and slow and put the hands down. So you see I'm in an upside down plank now, but I'm still in a really straight shape. My bum's not down on the mat, it's up in the sky. And now I need to get back up onto my hands, so I lift up into the air again and into my plank again. Okay, I'm back and go. Hand up into the air and down. And up. And back again. Are we ready to try it together? Okay, so you need to get yourself some space to do your plank and we're going to go over and back together. Are we ready? Down to our plank. Make sure it's really straight. Squeeze all your muscles. Hand up in the air. Down and back around. Well done. And back we go. Hand up in the air. Down and back around. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Now, our next drill is a perfect one for Easter time because it's a bunny hop. And um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck ourselves into a really tight little ball. So we tuck down into a tight ball, our knees are close to our chest, you can give your legs a little hug like this. Now, our legs need to stay tucked into this little ball for the whole time we're doing this exercise. Okay? So your feet are together, you're tucked into your little ball, and you're going to put your hands out on the mat in front of you. Now it's really important guys, that when we put our hands out on the mat, that they're really, really straight, okay? We don't want our elbows bent like this. We need to push the ground away and make sure that they're really straight, okay? So we're tucked down into a ball, feet together, hands out, and my arms are really straight. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna bounce with my two feet still stuck together up in the air like a bunny, okay? So I'll do a small one first. Four things. 
So if you guys need to go ring around the house grabbing some teddy bears, pause the video until you're all set up just like I am here. So we need two markers either end of the mat and then we have our pile of things on one side. Alright? Okay, so if you're ready to start, follow along with me. The, the activity we're going to do is we're going to make a plank on one side of the mat and one by one I'm going to pick up one of the things, I'm going to put it on my back and I'm going to move in my plank and I'm going to put it on the other side. Then I'm going to come back in my plank still and I'm going to get another thing until I've moved all of my things across to the other side. Okay? Are we ready to go? So everybody do it along together and let's see um, how quickly we can do it. Alright? Down in the plank. One, two, three, go! So pick it up, put it on your back, and nice and gently, don't let it fall. And down, one down! Now make sure that you've got a really strong plank shape the whole time. We need to keep really steady and still so our teddies or our bean bags don't fall off. And no cheating, now you can't throw them. You have to get the whole way over and put it down and the whole way back. Well done, guys. I've three over. Oh, four. Well done, really strong planks. And last one. Oh, well done. Did anybody beat me? All right, guys, for our second activity, we're going to put the bean bag in behind our knee and you're going to have to squeeze really tight to keep it there. And then you're going to bend on one leg and when you get over to the other side, you're going to put it down and come back, okay? And we're going to keep going until all of the bean bags are over there. We're going to do it together like a race. Are we ready? Okay, so everybody at the start, no cheating. Are you ready? So behind the knee, we want to just in here like that and we're bouncing on one foot. Okay, are we ready to go? Three, two, one, go! So in behind the knee, bouncing over, turn down and bounce back. Well done. Squeeze really tight. Good job, guys. If you need to, you can switch feet if one gets tired. So I'm going to do that in a minute. Oh, okay, halfway there, well done. Oh, big teddy. Two left. Well done, guys, keep going. Last one. Woo, well done, great job, guys. All right, guys. Next activity, we're going to sit down on the floor, okay? Now you can make this um, harder or easier depending on how straight your legs are, okay? So this time we're going to be moving the bean bags or the teddy bears with our feet and we're going to be squeezing them with our toes, sitting down on our bum like this and then you're going to lift them up in the air so the only thing that's on the ground is my bum, my back is up and my legs are up and I'm going to bring it all the way over to the other space, okay? If you need to move the spaces closer together, you can do that too, okay? If your legs are really straight, it's gonna be quite tricky. If that's too hard, you can bend them in a little bit closer to your body or even closer again. So you pick the one that's good for you and you can use your hands on either side to help you balance and turn. Are we all ready to go? Okay. Six things, let's see. What's the score? Am I winning? Are you winning? Third one, are we ready? Three, two, one, go! So pick it up, squeeze it through your toes, all the way over, well done! Okay, back we go again. It's tough picking them up. All the way over, well done! Two, oh no, I have a feeling you might be winning this one. Three, okay, coming back. Four, challenge and it really gets you uh, focused because you're trying to win, okay? 
Um, or you can play this challenge that I'm going to show you guys now. So Michelle, would you like to play this challenge with me? Yeah, I'd like to play this game. Cool. So the way it's going to work is there's a pile of things in the middle between me and Michelle. She's going to make a plank over there and I'm going to make my plank over here. You're also going to need to set a timer for 20 seconds like I have on my phone here. When we're down in our planks and they're really strong and ready to go, I'm going to hit go on the timer and we're going to try and grab these things, as many as you can, and I'm putting the smiling stuff on, this green dot, and you're going to put your stuff on the red dot. Okay. When the timer finishes, the person with the most amount of things wins. You ready? Yeah. Alright. Okay, in our planks. Okay, three, two, one, go.